Hi guys, today I want to do a proper review of the Think Tank Digital Holster 30 V2.0. Uh, I did a video uh, last week about my search for the perfect camera bag for hiking, but I didn't go into too much detail. So if you want to get that bag, this video is for you. So let's start with the design. Uh, the design is very classic. The bag is black. It looks like a standard camera bag. Black fabric, no cool little details like on the peak design bags. Um, it looks like my other uh, Lao Pro bag. Um, very, very similar. It's plain, it's simple, but it works. At the end, I'm going hiking. I'm not going to a fashion show. The bag is padded and the fabric is really tough. Uh, I've scratched my bags a few times on rocks and trees when I was hiking and the camera is still in mint condition. Overall, I'm very happy with the sturdiness of the bag. And the fabric is not weatherproof, but it comes with a rain cover. So if it starts raining, you just open the pocket, pull the bag, put it on the top. It's very simple to use. So this bag is in the shoulder bag section of the Think Tank website. I didn't purchase the product because I wanted to use it on my shoulder. I've tried it a few times as a shoulder bag. Um, the strap is pretty long, it's 155 cm, which is longer than my other Think Tank shoulder bag that I have. And it's pretty comfortable. But when where the bag actually shines is when you put it on your chest and using the chest strap that you get with your hiking bag. After a few seconds, you won't feel that you have a bag. You'll forget that you have a camera attached to your chest. And this is really amazing. It means that you will shave a couple of kilos off your hiking bag. And at the same time, you get a really quick access to your camera when you want to take a picture. It's perfect. If you want more information about how I decided to get that bag, you can check my other video here. Funny enough, the digital holster wasn't created uh, for hiking bags. It was created for another accessory called the Speed Belt Pro. And um, well, you know what? It works really well with hiking bags, so who cares? All the holsters have been created for one combo, a lens plus a camera combo. The one I have is for regular size DSLR, it means without a grip, and with a 70 to 200 2.8 lens. I'm not using the 2.8, expensive I'm using the 4 an f4 and it's pretty good and it's half the weight so it works pretty well with my Canon 80 plus 70 uh, to 200 lens there is one thin pocket at the top uh, for your business card one inner lead pocket for SD cards and lens cloth and there is also a front stretch pocket for lens cap and other accessories it's a bit small but I'd love to have a bigger pocket to fit my polarizing filter and my ND filter the best feature of the bag is the fact that you can unzip the bottom and you can extend the bag. So if you do sport photography or wildlife photography um, and you won't have to take off and add the hood each time you take a picture. This will save you a lot of time, it's amazing. There is also a strap on the side of the bag so you can use it to add your tripod but I never reuse really it because I attach my tripod to the side of my hiking bag. By the way, I did a few walks where I extended the bag, but instead of fitting the hood, I added an extra lens at the bottom. Uh, it works, not really you know, meant to do that, uh, and uh, it will add quite a bit of weight to your bag. So when you reach two kilos or more than two kilos in this bag, you will start to feel the weight on your chest, which is not great. So keep it simple, one camera, one lens. They have six models on their website, all black, no colors. Um, they have models for uh, standard DSLR, some with the grip attached, and also a mirrorless camera. The bag retails at 79 US dollars. Uh, you can purchase it on the Think Tank website. And uh, I got mine from Paxton Photography in Chatswood because my usual store didn't have this model in stock. And I paid around 130 dollars for it. Uh, it's pretty good value. Um, it's cheaper than the Top Loader Pro from uh, Low Pro and because it comes with the flap so you don't have to buy a harness to attach it or mount it to your uh, chest. So it's very good value for money. But I hope you enjoyed this review of the Think Tank Digital Hostel bag. If you have more questions about the bag, put them in the comments below. And if you like the video, thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Thank you.